So uh, I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, 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 localization, right? Um, so uh, localization has has been uh, quite a uh, big headache uh, uh, ever since I started working for Linux Foundation uh, 11 years ago. So uh, uh, my interest is how you know we can uh, uh, we can make more people uh, 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 work on localization uh, with uh, a lot of joy and with a lot of productivity. So th that's uh, that's the uh, that's the goal of my activity uh, uh, related to localization. So uh, 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 this is uh, the key uh, topics of this talk. All right. So uh, uh, one of the things I would like to uh, touch upon is how technology can actually solve the issue with the localization. Right. So uh, uh, localization has been uh, largely a ma manual work, but uh, by taking advantage of technology, so we can actually make it uh, uh, easier and probably more fun. So that's one thing I'd like to talk about. And the other is, uh, uh, okay, then, you know, if we take uh, take advantage of technology, so what are the tools, uh, technology tools, that we can take advantage of? So that's the other thing I'd like to touch upon uh, uh, during this my, uh, presentation. And the other thing, um, probably the most important thing, is how we can uh, make the localization work uh, more fun and productive. So those are the those are the three things I'd like to uh, talk uh, during my presentation. So uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, you know, uh, localization uh, is a big headache for uh, local open source communities. So uh, the the impact of the language barrier to the uh, industry in non English speaking country is actually huge, and it, this is particularly true, unfortunately, in Japan. Uh, because uh, Japanese people's uh, English uh, proficiency is one of the lowest in Asia, ranked 53rd in the world. And without, but you know, without localization, the new uh, technology originated overseas will not be spread in non-English speaking countries, again, like in Japan. So we need, uh, uh, we need, uh, we need a localization for uh, for local community to catch up with the latest technology trend overseas and it is it is impossible to make everyone to become able to uh, uh, communicate reading uh, and uh, uh, communicate in english language but it is possible uh, to uh, uh, localize uh, more documents and uh, you know localize a lot faster those documents by taking advantage of technologies so, uh, you know, localization is a big headache, but I would like to, uh, uh, you know, I would like to uh, solve this uh, problem with the uh, uh, technologies and community. So, uh, uh, no, how, so in order to solve this techno, uh, yeah, in order to uh, tackle this uh, uh, issue, I would like to, uh, first of all, understand uh, what is the uh, localization work? The what is the nature of the localization work, right? So uh, localization work is actually uh, uh, made up by two elements. One is translation. The other is interpretation. interpretation. So translation is a relatively uh, 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 lower value added work because uh, 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 this requires only a language skill, whereas interpretation requ requires uh, uh, specific uh, technology uh, background or technology uh, uh, te technical knowledge to be able to uh, uh, to be able to you know uh, um, for example uh, you know if you uh, uh, if you know a new uh, uh, tec a technical term are created uh, in English then uh, the the people who who does the interpretation work will have to understand. Uh, what is that technology and what would be the best uh, uh, interpretation, best uh, terminology that, you know, that, that can be uh, 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 used in, you know, for example, in Japanese language. So this is actually a really high value added work. But uh, today, uh, localization work, uh, localization work, both interpretation and translation, uh, a largely uh, uh, manual work by human. But uh, in the future, uh, you know, uh, among the interpretation and translation, in between interpretation and translation, 
this uh, lower uh, value added work uh, translation, it can be replaced by uh, uh, machine, the technology, while uh, interpretation will remain, you know, uh, remain in the human world because this requires a very uh, specific uh, uh, technology or industry uh, uh, skill or knowledge. So, uh, uh, in order to make uh, translation uh, more, you know, localization work more, uh, 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 let's say, uh, productive and fun, we need an open and common platform for open uh, source communities. So, uh, to be more specific, we would like to, uh, you know, we need a, a tool, uh, we need a common platform to make uh, the translation part, not interpretation part, translation part, uh, uh, you know, to be done by uh, machine or tools. So, uh, I, you know, my hope is uh, we like to uh, uh, get our force together to build a, a, a common platform uh, to, uh, uh, you know, um, to automate the translation part. So, what we need in order, uh, you know, in order to make that happen, what are the uh, what are the requirements? So uh, I'm thinking now uh, these three are the uh, key requirements uh, to make that happen. One is uh, everyone to use the tool to translate and share the translation memory. This is the important part. You know, uh, not only just uh, do the translation, but share the translation memory. That's the one, one thing that is important. The second part is train the machine translation engine that is optimized for open source industry, right? So, uh, you know, there are uh, machine translation engines out there, uh, you know, probably not many people actually use it, but uh, uh, in order uh, for us to uh, be able to, uh, uh, you know, efficiently use the engine, the engine uh, will have to be uh, uh, optimized for open source industry usage. And third, and again, this is the, uh, the most important part, build the uh, mindset and process that the translation will have to be done by the community. And no, no, never do it alone. But this is the important part. And share the result together uh, with the uh, community. So those are the three things that, ha that has to happen uh, to, uh, for the localization work to become more fun and more uh, productive. So uh, uh, what is the, you know, uh, I mentioned that, you know, uh, Everyone use the TSM to to translate and share the translation memory, right? I, I said uh, share the translation memory is quite important. Then, uh, what is the translation memory and why it matters? So, uh, uh, translation memory is basically a database of you know translated uh, words, and you know uh, it can be a, a sentence or paragraphs or a sentence like units like you know he headings, titles, elements in the list that have previously been translated in order to, uh, uh, previously translated. So uh, uh, this is uh, basically uh, the translation memory. And uh, one good news is that, you know, there is an industry standard file format for the uh, translation memory exchange TMX file format. And so uh, uh, people are actually able to uh, uh, generate the translation memory with the standard file format and actually share the memory and uh, make memory uh, to get uh, uh, make the translation memory better uh, by collaborating, and uh, and also uh, they you know uh, regardless of the tool uh, people use, you know uh, they can actually same uh, generate the same translation memory and share it. So that's that's one good news. And the benefit of using translation memories, uh, you know, uh, there are uh, you know, several memories, uh, several. Uh, uh, several benefits. So uh, one is the translation tool uh, will translate the same sentence words or sentence like units uh, automatically and able to uh, uh, avoid from translating the, uh, you know, those uh, uh, sentences, words and uh, uh, sentence like units over and over. So this is actually a big benefit. And um, actually by doing that, you know, uh, uh, specific uh, terminologies will be translated into the same local language. So this is actually uh, uh, important. Uh, for example, uh, English words with the container uh, may be uh, translated uh, uh, 
person A might be uh, translated into one way, but you know, a person B might uh, translate into the other way. Uh, but uh, uh, if the community got together and use the same uh, same uh, uh, translation memory, then this issue actually be solved. Right, uh, container is a container. Uh, there is only one uh, one single uh, translation interpretation. Uh, everyone use in, within the community, and also uh, uh, we can uh, by using the uh, translation memory. It's actually a similar thing, but uh, we can actually set the rule by the uh, uh, you know the trans trans translation rules by the community. So uh, community might uh, uh, might use one. Uh, uh, you know, one one terminology. They they would like to keep that terminology uh, as uh, as in English, right? And maybe some other term uh, terminology needs to be translated into Japanese. But you know, uh, uh, you know, so uh, community can set uh, set a rule that you know this term stays in English. This term we translate it. Something like that. You no, know, you know, the community can set the rules by using the uh, translation memory. So this is the uh, big benefit of uh, you, uh, using the tra these are the you know, uh, big benefits uh, using translation memory. So it actually matters a lot. So uh, uh, what what to do with the trans translation memories? So uh, this is the uh, uh, what I'm thinking the ideal uh, process of using it. Um, you know. For, you know, first of all, get the translation uh, memories from the community repository. Then, uh, use by using the uh, translation memory, work on the translation. And the person will uh, uh, create a new translation. So share that uh, new translation memory with the community, and uh, then you know uh, merge the new translation memory with the uh, uh, existing translation memory and update the community uh, uh, translation memory in the repository. And you know. Uh, keeping this cycle, right? And by repeating this process over and over, the community will get more and more translation memories and less and less duplicated translation. So this is the ideal uh, process. So uh, let me uh, let me uh, touch upon uh, the uh, uh, some of the uh, trans available uh, translation tools. So one of the one of the two uh, there's a widely uh, used uh, is Omega T. Uh, this is an open source uh, translation tool that uh, anyone can actually uh, download and use. And uh, I mentioned that you know there's a one uh, a standard uh, uh, translation memory file format uh, DMX, but uh, there are actually you no know, uh, some you know several other uh, uh, file formats. And uh, Omega T is uh, uh, compatible to uh, many variety of uh, file formats like TTX, TMXL, uh, and others. And also, uh, uh, Omega T is able to uh, uh, translate over uh, uh, 30 document formats such as Microsoft Word, Excel, uh, PPT, uh, HTML, and others. And of course, uh, open document format. And also, uh, one of one of the uh, good things about you know uh, this Omega T is uh, uh, it it has got you know an uh, interface with uh, popular uh, machine translation engines such as Google and DeepL. So uh, uh, you know when when you use Omega T, uh, use the community uh, uh, translation memory is one thing, and the other uh, thing uh, uh, you can take advantage of uh, is uh, use the machine translation engine such as Google and DeepL. And also one good uh, uh, one good uh, uh, point about you know one benefit of using uh, Omega T is uh, the tool uh, works well for uh, group work. So uh, uh, if you uh, would like to uh, uh, use a tool of the community translation, Omega T is actually uh, one good option that is suit for uh, 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 that suit for the nature of the uh, uh, collaborative work. But one downside of that tool is actually this is actually not an easy tool to learn and use. This is actually you know one downside uh, that Omega T uh, has. But uh, this is a, a really a great tool, and you know uh, um, at Linux Foundation Japan office, you know, we have been using Omega T a lot uh, uh, the past several years. 
And the other available tool uh, is a Textra uh, translation editor. So this is uh, actually an online tool provided by uh, National Institution of Information and Communications Technology. Uh, we call it, uh, they call it NICT. This is the Japanese government, uh, Japanese funded uh, research institute. And uh, this text uh, translation editor is not an, uh, not an open source tool, but uh, anyone can use it, use it uh, for free. And the license term is actually very clear for uh, open source usage. So uh, uh, what it means is uh, if you use, you know, uh, like a popular uh, translation engine. Oh, by the way, uh, so this text translation editor, there is a, uh, this is the uh, editor uh, that you can see, um, you know, you can see uh, the graphic on the right. This is the editor. But uh, behind this, there is a translation engine, text uh, uh, translation engine. Right, so this is the machine translation tool. So uh, uh, if you uh, use other uh, like a machine translation tool, uh, then uh, uh, you might run into an issue uh, like you know uh, what is uh, no, uh, you know if if we if I use uh, uh, who is the uh, uh, owner of the uh, outcome of the translation, right? So uh, machine translation, you know, you actually are not the one who actually do the translation. Actually, machine did it. So in that case, uh, who owns it? You no, know, is it is it free? Is it is it uh, you know, no, is it okay to share the uh, uh, outcome of the uh, uh, translation with anyone? Right. So this is actually the, uh, not you know, not 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 too clear if you use the uh, uh, many of the uh, uh, translation uh, translation engine. But uh, uh, this texture is actually really clear that you know uh, we can actually uh, use it uh, use it for uh, open source project and share uh, share the outcome of the uh, trans machine trans translation for free. So that's one thing. And uh, uh, and once again, no, uh, this uh, texture is taking advantage of machine translation engine. And uh, one good thing about this is no need to install a software on your PC. So this is actually quite easy. And uh, just like Omega T, this, uh, it is capable to translate many different file, file formats like Omega T. And uh, one good uh, thing uh, about you know, this uh, texture is uh, it's capable to use a WYSIWYG mode. So uh, this is uh, something not uh, available with the Omega T. And one, uh, I personally feel you know, one of the biggest uh, uh, the benefit of using a, a, a texture is automatically mer merge the translation memory in the engine and get trained if everyone uses this. And also uh, capable to uh, generate a glossary from the translation memory. But you know, uh, however, one downside, uh, one issue is uh, uh, you know, in terms of group translation work. Uh, this is not the uh, uh, the best solution at this moment. So that's the one downside. So uh, I brought uh, one of the uh, uh, case study where actually a uh, uh, community uh, is get, got together and use the tools and uh, work on uh, try to build the process of the community translation, uh, which is the hyper uh, hyperledger Japanese uh, documentation working group. So uh, uh, they, uh, you know, they are the group of the translator and and who work on the uh, hyperledger fabric uh, documentation uh, localization. And uh, the group, uh, uh, you know, the group is using uh, the GitHub to collaboratively uh, translate the documentation. And also, the group also partly use the translation memory, uh, which is uh, maintained on the Git on GitHub. However, this is the issue. However, they are still facing difficulty to update the translation memory by aggregating feedbacks from the community translator and merge them to update the existing translation memory. And also uh, uh, you know, deleting the word, which are not appropriate. So, uh, uh, and the reason why this happened is, uh, is because today, it is simply not easy to share translation, mem translation memory and maintain at one location. 
So, uh, although uh, this hyperledger uh, Japanese documentation uh, working group uh, is trying to uh, uh, do the way, uh, uh, you know, the, the way uh, I described uh, in the earlier slide, but uh, they're, you know, they are facing actually running into the issue of uh, actually doing it because it is actually hard to uh, actually, you know, it's actually share the translate, generate the translation and share it and maintain it. So uh, we are going to make one step forward to remove that needle of localization community. So we identify that this is the issue, right? So it's it's difficult to, uh, you know, although it's important to uh, uh, share the translation memory, but it, it is not easy. So uh, this is a needle, right, of the uh, localization co uh, community. So I would like to uh, uh, do something about it. So uh, I'd like to, uh, we are going to make one step forward to, uh, to do that. So uh, today I'd like to make one announcement about uh, NICT. Uh, I mentioned earlier that you know, uh, who actually developed the uh, Textra uh, translation engine. And uh, the Linux Foundation will collaborate on uh, Textra, right? So by using the tool, by using the uh, community translation, we should be able to get uh, a lot better productivity, obviously. So uh, uh, with a machine translation engine optimized for open source usage, the productivity can become much higher. So this is uh, one thing uh, I you know, uh, need uh, NICT and the Linux Foundation Japan office would like to uh, achieve. Make the, uh, uh, create the, uh, uh, the translation engine that is optimized for open source usage. So uh, to do that, you know, uh, NICT and the Linux Foundation has reached agreement to work together to uh, train Textra machine translation engine to optimize it for open source community use. So that's the, uh, that's the agreement and this, that's the announcement today. And uh, uh, moving forward, uh, what we are going to do is uh, the Linux Foundation will host Textra at the Linux Foundation server. Uh, and which will be open up for the local open source user community to use. And also uh, NICT and uh, the Linux Foundation, uh, NX Linux Foundation will collaborate to tackle, to add the uh, group work feature to Textra. Uh, as I mentioned that, you know, uh, Textra is weak at, you know, group, uh, group work functionality. So, uh, uh, we, we are going to, uh, uh we are going to, uh, 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 try to add the group work feature to, uh, uh Textra. So community can easily share the translation memory, and also uh, build an build an ecosystem around the machine translation, such as a commercial uh, uh, like a commercial tool or open source uh, tools for uh, uh, CMS, you know, uh, content management system like you know uh, uh, WordPress related to, like tools, or and also a Git repository uh, for instant message, messaging, social uh, instant messaging or like social medias and so on. So uh, uh, together with the uh, NICT and uh, NICT, the so Linux Foundation, uh, uh, we try to uh, solve the needle, maybe solve the issue of uh, 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 issue with the uh, difficulty of sharing the uh, translation memories within the community. So uh, the value of using optimized machine translation engine so, uh, is like this, right? So uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's, it is difficult uh, to actually generate the translation memory and share it, share it and merge uh, with the existing one. But uh, by you, you know, uh, uh, and without machine translation, you know, you know, this process, you know, community uh, translation, this five, you know, five circle, uh, uh, circles, uh, largely manual work, right? But uh, with machine translation, these steps can be automated because uh, translation, uh, translation engine can take, you know, take care of, you know, uh, basically, you know, uh, sharing the uh, uh, translation memory and merging with the existing one and updating it. This is uh, done by a machine translation, a machine translation engine automatically. So uh, uh, this way, 
we can actually solve the issue we faced with the uh, hyperledger uh, hyperledger japanese documentation workgroup right they uh, they had they faced the difficulty uh, of uh, uh, sharing it but no it it no it will be automated with the machine translation engine and finally this is my final point so after all uh, people matters most no, uh, you know we work on the tools. We work on. Uh, we will work on the translation uh, uh, engine. But uh, after all, uh, people actually matters most. You no, know, uh, to to be able to uh, make the localization work fun and productive. Right. So uh, you know, one one of the things that we have to do is build the mindset and the process to share the uh, translation result and memory. So mindset is basically you know localization work. work as fun collaborative work it's, it's not like you no know, something uh, uh people do it alone um you know uh, alone by themselves right and uh, and also a common repository uh, not only for the localization outcome but you know uh, we have to uh, we have to share the translation as well and also work work process it would be good to have maintainers uh commi committers and reviewers and sign off by process um just like you no know, we have you know uh, just like we have for uh, developing uh, open source software so this is uh, uh, you know this is one thing uh, we have to do and also uh, 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 you know the community localization can become uh, more fun because uh, uh, learning through the localization you know, we are able to learn new things like you know uh, many of the uh, uh, technology are uh, created in uh, English language but you know, uh, the people who actually do the localization is actually you know, the people who are actually learning uh, uh, earlier than anyone else. So this is one uh, good, ben uh, good benefit a uh, uh, translator will have. And also uh, by uh, you know, uh, taking advantage of open source way of translating, uh, the translation will become the uh, uh, collaboration with others, not in you know, a standalone project. So we can get feedback to the work and uh, we get a higher reputation and we get an appreciation for the community. So uh, this is one good benefit a uh, you know, uh, translator can get if we do it in the community way. And uh, if we take, a, a, you, know, if, you know, we are able to take advantage of uh, technology, uh, we can actually you know, eventually focus on high value added work, you know, interpretation part rather than, you know, uh, uh, you know, translation part. Because the you know, translation part uh, will be taken care of by the like a machine. So you know, you, you know people can uh, focus on uh, interpretation of new technology, uh, uh, you know, understanding the context of new technology, and create the, the uh, appropriate, appropriate word for uh, the local language. So this is actually a fun part. So uh, these are the uh, the things uh, you know. Uh, we have to promote uh, and we we have to uh, make people understand in order for uh, uh, localization work to become more fun and productive. So if you're interested in, uh, please join us. Uh, we have the uh, trans uh, collaborative translation meetup in Japanese language. Um, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is a link to the meetup.com we, we host uh, since, you know, Due to the uh, COVID nineteen, we have not uh, 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 we have not uh, done the uh, uh, meetings uh, last uh, nearly a year or so. But uh, uh, I am certainly hope to uh, re-energize uh, this community. And also, uh, uh, if you would like to know more about uh, 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 the status of you know uh, this activity, uh, please reach me out at the, at my uh, Twitter account uh, at nori underscore fukuyasu. And one final word that I would like to leave you with. So universal community translators unite and share the translation memory. Thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Uh, 
um if you uh, if you have any questions you can uh, you can tap in in the uh, chat windows or uh so i can uh, answer the question So uh, in the chat window, uh, uh, Miura-san, Hiroshi Miura-san has been uh, uh, adding some comments. Um, uh, actually, uh, Miura-san has been working to uh, connect uh, Omega T with the uh, Textra uh, translation engine. So uh, uh, my hope is, uh, uh, no, no, we can connect, we can use, we can still use Omega T uh, and use the translation, uh, translation, uh, texture translation engine. Oh, yeah, he actually uh, mentioned that in the chat. Uh, Any questions? If not, I guess now I can conclude my talk. And uh, if you have, uh, once again, uh, thank you for uh, joining my session. And if you have any questions, uh, please reach me out at my Twitter account or uh, uh, or uh, participate to our collaborative translation meetups. Uh, uh, there's one question. Does Textra agreement is not only for Japanese English or so other language? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it, it doesn't specify for a Japanese language. And uh, any other questions? Okay, uh, thank you so much for joining. And uh, uh, I am uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing your feedback uh, somehow. Uh, and I'm looking forward uh, everyone to join our community. And, uh, and also, I, I really hope that uh, you will enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you so much. All right.